this. Uh, it's, it's very special. Um, honored to uh, present this and definitely uh, uh, not only just a uh, family member. And I'm so, so glad to see all of this here. I'm going to be part of it and getting the bonus of you doing this even, even if it wasn't me, I would be here anyway. So it's just happening. Hey! 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 So that's how that's how it started everything, um, and that has been my life since then, like since May of 1990, you know. And then 2020 now, so May is gonna be completing um, 30 years of Fiji, you know. And uh, when I got my black belt, that is like when you on I. The way I, I see things, every everyone that gets promoted to, to Black Belt is an uh, unforgettable day for them, right? And, but I don't have many memories on the day that I got my Black Belt, all right? So, because um, the ones that have been changing longer with me, like when like some of you guys were here on my fourth degree, and Gustavo was here on my fourth degree, and then on the way back home, and then we were in a horrible um, car accident, you know? And um, my friend Marcelo, who wouldn't be here today, because otherwise he would be here today, um, he was the one that saved my life, because the other friends that we had the car, they, they lost their lives, and then Marcelo was in the driver's seat, or in the passenger seat, and then, he fell off, hey, and then like he got off the car, and then he was able to get me out of the car, and then go all the way up with me, even though he's a, a pushover, right? <laughs> um, so I don't wanna ever imagine what uh, my mom felt that day when she got the call, you know, because now I have kids myself. So I don't have uh, many memories of that day. So every every chance that I had, like the first degree, the second, I, I tried to make something special. So I, I can't remember that. To look, because I don't have like much stuff to remember of that day, and it was as well. And I, for me, Jiu Jitsu is about happiness. 
you know, uh, having all you guys here, you guys, like, I think it's hard to, to understand what means, uh, you know, and <clears throat> I wonder, like, when, when I knew that uh, my master wasn't going to be here, for me, like, at, at that moment, I knew that the one of Gustavo uh, to be the one awarding that that, uh, that belt, uh, that different degree, because it's funny to say, but like when back when Gustavo was in Brazil, we, we, we were not friends because we were there. Even now, it doesn't make much difference because he's six years older than me. But back then, I was just like a kid, and then Gustavo was part of the two boys, right? Like, they were like on the top, and then like he and Shaolin and Hobson, and I was like, man, I wanna be like them, you know? I just wanna be like them. And and then like he left Brazil early, like he said he'd be in the United States for, for a while. He, he came back, he came here for the first time in 98, and I think he moved to 99, if I'm not wrong, you know? Uh, so and I, I moved here only in 2009. So when I moved here, so I just like, I was just like, I was just Gustavo teammate. And, but the day they arrived here, the first person, the first person like, I got from my like, other, the first person that reached out for me was Gustavo. And like, I have uh, a lot of great friends here. Like I used to go Marcelo, he lives in Florida, um, Hobson lives in Florida, Shaolin lives in New York, and they are all part of this, and I wish they, they could be here today. And we, like, I knew that Gustavo was the first one to reach out, and always, always supporting me, always supporting me, um, everything. And then I remember, like, the first thing that he said is, like, you know, like, there's no way, it's like, nobody is perfect, so we're gonna make mistakes and everything, but, if you work hard and you make sure that you try to do everything right, like you're gonna be able to accomplish a lot of stuff because I always follow your, your competitive career and that's gonna be a beginning of a new phase. Back then with 29, I gonna be honest that I didn't understand that. So for me, we're like, oh, okay, he's talking about me, like become a world champion, this and that, like, you know? Um, and then, of course, as the years pass by now, I, I start understanding uh, the meaning. Because, and then we become closer friends. Uh, we have been able to support each other in like in rough phases of each other's lives. And then, being present in special moments of each other's life. Um, but either way, he was always there. He was always there. And like somebody that I, I used to have kind of like a, uh, as an idol, and then like friendship, to become a friend, and then to become a, uh, a brother uh, for me. You know, so that's why for me, was very important to, to have Gustavo work with this because he has uh, taught me way beyond Jiu Jitsu. And everything that he does inspire me to, to try to be uh, a better <coughs> man and a better martial artist. Like, and then like, here, like that, that, that gene, like when. I was telling him everything was going on, and then I'm like, man, do it. And then I was like, oh, but what? Like, no worries, just do it. Just do it because, like, it's kind of like everything, like, to go back for what you see, you know, you see back in like 2009. Like, if you try to do everything right and work hard, you're gonna make it happen. You know? So, um, Gustavo, I don't know if you're ever gonna, like, be able to imagine how grateful I am for for having you uh, in my life. All right, um, but thank you for being here today. But most of all, always, always being present. Even though like 
Arizona, and Texas. You know, and then I'm like, the, the weekly long calls. Oh, so we stop on the phone, oh, I'm with you. <laughs> you know, and, and like, it's always, it's always a amazing like experience and time to learn from uh, from you. And like, but like, I, I, when I talk about this, like, it's not, it's not about you. It's way, uh, way beyond Jiu Jitsu. And I had out. Thank you very much. Or or I speak in Portuguese and somebody trying to call you But I think it's easier to speak English and then people can just go. Or I can try to go back and forth. Oh, like Portuguese and English. Mãe, eu quero te agradecer por sempre amar é, os seus filhos de, de forma que a gente não tem como expressar a, a nossa gratitude. Um, I thank her for always loving uh, her kids. They're not kids anymore. Uh, on the way that we cannot, we don't ever be able to express our, our gratitude. Uh, quero que você saiba que todas as vezes que eu lembro é, quando eu estiver chorando eu sempre tento ser é, alguma coisa que te é, faça se sentir orgulhosa uh, I'm telling her that every time that Uh, I, I remember the night that, that she was uh, crying because uh, my mom and my dad, they were one, one time separate and then like they were separate for two years. And it was, it was a really rough time for us. Um, so I tried to, I remember those times to try to make sure that she's always proud of, of what I do. Um, eu nunca vou esquecer de eu tentando juntar, juntar dinheiro para comprar a cervejinha que você gostava. <risos> Ou quando eu te via chorando e deitava do seu lado para tentar fazer com que você se sentisse melhor. Um, so I me mean, remind her like the time that I was trying to like to save money and then try to keep her the, the beer brand that she loves <laughs> and the time that she was crying. I'll never, I'll never forget those times. Uh, I wish, I wish very bad that my father could be here today. Unfortunately, he can't. Um, I cannot ever complain about. I have no complaint about my father here. Uh, I also always support everything that I try to do in Jiu-Jitsu, like, um, I remember the first tournament that he went to Asha to watch us, he and I, back then, Bianca didn't train, and um, and then some of you guys know the story that, because it was his weekend, they were not together, it was his weekend, and so he had to drive us back home, and then he gave a ride for my mom, of course, as well, and then it was the first tournament that I won, And then he still overnight, and then on my 10 year old mind, I thought, well, so if I keep winning, that the mom keep together, right? So, <laughs> and then from that moment on, my competitive drive began, and I just want like, I have to hurt every kid in the world to keep them together. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so, they they put, they they like, they flip that, that spiral with that, and of course. Later on in life, you understand that it's not about this, but that's what a 10-year-old kid 
um, believe. And and then he went to every tournament that I compete into my first black belt tournament. You know? So I wish I wish he he could be here today. Um, but I know that everything uh, has the right time. And Hiku and, and Bia, I think I can speak English because my partner should speak English as well. Um, I want to thank you guys for being <coughs> who you guys are. Um, for always being there for me, either was right or wrong. Um, supporting like every dream that that i had uh, because of jiu-jitsu and through jiu-jitsu um thank you guys for making like a special interview with betcha to approve her to the same <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i i want i want to thank you guys for like it's just always 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 being there um I couldn't have asked for a better brother and sister um, because you guys always, always show me uh, just love. Even on, on disagreements, there was always, there was always love. And like I try, like I'm the the, the, the big brother, but a lot of times in life because I had frustrations or heartbroken for things on and off Jiu Jitsu, you, you guys were the one that took care of me, you know, uh, you guys were the, the big brother and big sister that like I, I didn't have because I was, I'm the older one. So I want to thank you guys for that, for, for always being there for me, regardless of, of the, of the situation. All right. And um, João e Maria, uh, they're here, uh, is for you guys. I know that, I know that you guys don't understand that now. And I know that, uh, in some points, dad and mama don't gonna be there anymore. All right. But... Like I have said that for you guys before, every time that you look on your, on your journey, on your path, and you don't see your footprints, your, your footprints over there, is because in that moment we were carrying you guys, and then we're gonna do that until into the rest of our lives. And I love you guys very much, my princess, and. My Burundi. Thank you for being here with Papa. Alright? Uh, to everybody that, that came here today, thank you, thank you once again. Uh, man, people flying out of the street, people man, driving from out of the country. You know, like the guys who wanna phone us. Uh, man, like just seeing like driving from Oklahoma, like, and I'm gonna forget people here, some people from also my calling, like everywhere um i feel very blessed to to have you guys um but i have to thank uh they always a free story for being the first ones to believe in me in the united states and be the first place that i that i had um then the first one and then this uh the following one for being with me since 2010 and Always, always be with me. Always be with me. Always believe on things that I, I told them. Uh, support and then like we'll be able to to fight a lot of stuff that we want to 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 accomplish together. And we have accomplished a lot of stuff together. And I wouldn't have accomplished if you guys wouldn't have trust me uh, back back like. 10 years ago, so uh, you guys are a big part of, of everything uh, that I have in my city as well. And I want to thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys a lot.
people, like so many people who who thank you. Um, <laughs> I want um, I love I love all the shoes that I have, but I, I wanna on on those like eight weeks because this will be open for eight weeks now. So on those crazy eight weeks, like um, that will be open. I want to thank a lot, uh, Mr. Fernando and April, Mr. Philippe and Edith, uh, Christine and Jason, Jolene and Drew, uh, Jacob and Andrea, like you guys, like, have done so, like, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Uh, but you guys have done so much uh, for family, and then on those eight weeks, and then, like, Man, help cleaning and then like I see as well. Sorry, sorry, sensei. <laughs> but you know, like having my family sleep over because I have to travel early and then catch up like so many like crazy stuff. And then like uh, Joe as well. Like every help that patch and I ask like, what do you think about business this and that? And like I'm like, oh, I think this and like Joe like you have help uh, helping us so much on those first eight weeks that like we call you weekly to ask you something. <laughs> um, always, always supporting us. Um, I wanna, I wanna, uh, Dustin Shellhammer, Cyril Jeff Smith, um, Mauro Blast Matai, Alex Lopez, um, Emily Fernandes, you guys, like didn't let me get down any moment, you know. Um, you guys, even though Alex and Emily are younger, those are the ones that knew everything from the beginning. You know, they knew everything was what was going on, everything what is happening, and they keep pushing like so hard, but so hard that I just couldn't. Couldn't uh, stop as well. So like Dustin, Blessed, CJ, Alex, and then like you guys, um, you guys are way beyond students for me. Like way beyond students. And sometimes, uh, sometimes like that, especially like Alex and Amy because they, they are younger. And then I tell them that I don't think they you understand how much I appreciate them or love them, but. I think as you guys get older and then having more experience in life, I think you guys want to understand. That, um, so that that doesn't mean that they are favorites or anything. I just want to like remind you guys for, uh, like thank you guys personally for always, always being there uh, for me. And don't, don't let me uh, get down, always trust, all right? Uh, and then on, on the on the affiliates, I mean, there's so many people here today that I don't even know if you have one here, but like four, four of my affiliates, they, they were key for patch nine to don't lose everything that we had on the sense that like we didn't have a place to to teach. So um, we tried. I don't know if Jean is here. Like I have so many people here today, but Jean was. Uh, she let us show her on the her little show her backyard, right? Then we can go there three times a week. Uh, but like Des, Nathan, uh, Gabe, and Kevin, like you guys let me, my family, and my students train at your place any, any time, like from July all the way to go we open November 13th. You know? Uh, like we were there at your, all, at your academies, at your houses. Sometimes we went like full family to Kevin's house. And man, like crazy stuff. Like went to game and then give like get up hotel. And then, like you guys did, did so much, so much that I think Match and I never gonna be able to to fully like give back to you guys. Uh, making sure 
that we had a home when we didn't have one. All right. So uh, I don't think later that the 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 name was the cake. That's my very first black belt of the Midland. And then Kevin, that's my very first black belt there in New Mexico. And then like I want like thank you guys a lot for everything that you guys have done for me and for my family. All right, thank you very much. I just try to, to make sure that I don't forget anybody and then if I did, um, if I did, uh, I'm sorry. It's like hard trying to keep uh, with everything. Uh, it's a big moment and I think it's just, it's just the beginning um, of uh, not only just the beginning, like uh, on the sense of like we've been he started that, that that academy over here, but uh, of a new phase of our life as well. All right. Um, so thank you guys for all this. Um, thank you Yuri for the trust that never give up on the on on your dream. All right. I don't know where you are, but uh, go somewhere. Boom. Uh, as Gustavo said, you kept you kept your dream alive. Uh, I know there were a lot of doubts if you would be able to ever come back to the United States. But Patch and I were very happy, and the host was very blessed to to have you here. If, and already for the impact that you've been making on the future that you get, and we love you very much. All right. Uh, and then, like to to finish. Uh, Thank you, Petra, for changing my life. All right, I would never, I would never imagine that when I walk on the mats in Sofia to train a guy to compete in the UFC, I would have met uh, the woman that would make my dream come true. Uh, because, like if you guys can ask my brother and my sister, I don't have any other childhood friends here. But my dream was never like to be a world champion. Uh, my dream was to have a family because I didn't wanna. I, I wanna. I wanna have a family and make sure that my kids who never to go through what my brother Mr. and I had to go through. So, and the person that um, gave me the opportunity to achieve this was you uh, for uh, getting very blush on the first moment. <laughs> for denying me almost two weeks. <laughs> for being like challenged in front of your friends to vote me on the net. Uh, for being late for almost two hours on the first date. <laughs> Uh, but like, and then for, but like, and now like without, without like playing like for, leave everything behind, leave your family and all your friends, your life, everything that you had in one backpack and one luggage and come here for me. I'll never be able to repay you uh, for this, no matter how much I try to to spoil you sometimes, <laughs> and I'll be shunted, baby. All right, guys, thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate you guys. Love you, bye.